working? No, no, no. Um, or shall, shall I? No. 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 Okay. Um, Pete Green, principal speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm concerned with page 18 of the Standing Orders report and the comment on session 14 constitutional amendments. This is a reference to the internal constitution of left unity and I want to have a timed session on this because otherwise the amendments that are being proposed to our own constitution will fall off the agenda and we will have another year with what is in this, as many people recognise, um, is a dysfunctional constitution. Seriously dysfunctional constitution, which is one reason why we're going to have a problem with the agenda, actually. Um, now, many of the motions and amendments that are related to that constitutional uh, section are, will be uncontroversial, including tidying up things that are sensible. Two or three of them will be controversial. I think half an hour will help the functioning of this organisation over the next year um, in a way that will be seriously helpful in terms of future conferences and future activities. Thank you. Hello, I'm uh, Nick, Rod Nick Rogers. Nick Rod, Rod, Nick Rogers. I've got uh, two uh, aspects of the Standing Orders Committee report I want to uh, raise questions about. On page three, uh, under the uh, uh, conference standing orders point D, uh, the uh, question about single exclusive vo voting, uh, it seems to me that uh, there's a, a, an issue here because who decides which motions are exclusive of each, each, each other. So why should members themselves not be allowed to decide that they want to vote for both of them? Plus where the Standing Orders Committee or the Chair decides that motions are exclusive, uh, the way that John described it, there isn't an option of voting against both. You have to vote for one or the other or abstain. So that means that one or other of those motions will pass. So there's no ability for conference to vote against, against, against both, as far as I see. I could have got that wrong, but uh, I wait uh, to be... And the other point I wanted to raise was on page 8, the agenda plan, section D. Uh, this is proposing that uh, any motions that aren't voted on by the time the session time runs out go to the National Council. If you look at the amount of time that is allowed for ses ses sessions, half an hour or so for each of them, that effectively means uh, that uh, I'm not sure in the course of the debate whether any of the motions are going to be reached in that time. So effectively, the business of this conference is going to be decided by the National Conference, by the National Council, rather than then this, conf conf this, con this conference. So I would propose that uh, we move as expeditely as we can, like that each ses 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 session in turn, Quickly, we, comrade. we vote on each motion and then reach right. a decision on those here at the conf right. okay. conf conference. Okay, okay, we've got the point. Now, because I didn't have microphones before, it made it very difficult to call a vote. At the moment, we don't have...